So hello everyone. Welcome to the last conversation of the fifth cycle of conversations on corporeal architecture. My name is Verita Pirat Freire, and today I am very glad and honored to introduce you to Ciro Ferrer. Ciro Ferrer helps her Albuquerque, architect and urban planner specializing in neuroarchitecture, gerontology, applied geriatrics, and neuroscience applied to learning. He's a lover of knowledge and enchanted with the capacity of human aging. He's dedicated to research and practices in architecture, urbanism, and design that are friendly to dementia in order to postpone dementia based on cognitive stimuli fostered by the built environment. Therefore, his life purpose is to provide aging in place, longevity, and quality of life for the elderly. Siru, thank you so much for accepting this invitation, and we very much look forward to learning from you today. And uh, it's a pleasure, Maria. I'm really, really glad to stay here today with all of us. Can I start, share, screen? Yes, yes go ahead. All right, can you see it? Yes, we can. <laughs> so here we go. Today, I came to share all of you a subject that I love so much, a subject that I, everyone avoids and acts like it doesn't exist, a necessary subject that we should pay more attention to. Let's talk about aging and how we can design healthy, rich, memorable, and purposeful spaces for longevity. In first place, let's grow, let's all grow old. Therefore, we are to stop treating the elderly as the other and start treating them as ourselves in the future. In the second, as human beings, we have to deal with an extremely technological and complex reality with a rudimentary brain system. Our brain has not prepared, developed to face so many daily stimuli, stimuli gradually promoting sedentary life, chronic stress, anxiety and depression, gradual increase in biological inflammation, cognitive disorders, and dementia stages. We were prepared for this and now it's for that. In fair place, what can we do today in our built environment to improve our future? Could neuroscience and architecture be the key to longevity? Our journey, going the aging, dementia, and longevity, a right environment, life, and choice, evidence and strategy for of longevity, final consideration, and references. So aging, dementia, and longevity. Growth of the every population, the elderly will be increased so much more. Here we can see that while elder population continues to grow worldwide, Europe is the continent with the world's, world's oldest population, like the we can see here. Worldwide growthly with a diagnostical of dementia conditions is to, is to increase too. So it's a big, big problem, but we have to make solutions to, to resolve it. Alzheimer's Disease International, the global voice of dementia. Here, two out of three people globally believe there is a little or no understanding of dementia in their countries. Every three seconds, someone in the world develops dementia. So it's a very, very strange, strong problem. And age old story, Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative condition of the brain that is responsible for around 2,000 of the major cases. Despite much effort, the condition caused reminding uncertain and on no effective treatment yet exists. Like as we can see it, the cerebral cortex of a normal brain, Alzheimer's disease, the hippocampus, our memory, 
the hippocampus, the area of the brain that is crucial for the memory formation, is on the first ear to be affected. Tissues lose its coverage. And here, a possible solution that can these researchers of dementia prevention intervention on, and care that their new modified risk for dementia compared to 2000 in in 2017, modified 12 risk factors can be prevented or delay of the 40s of dementias, greater chance of daily or lower risk dementia in the future, especially in actions for long life risk factors. So the environment equals life habits equals the key points of us. Here, we can see the, the some factors that avoid Alzheimer's disease like cognition, practice of physical activity, so, sociability, and sensory stimulus. So let's improve these concepts and apply them on architecture for a better life. So enrich environment life and choices. Here, any man could, if he were so inclined, be the sculpture of his own brain, Santiago Ramon and Caral. In Russian environment are environments rich in motor, cogn cognitive, social, and sensory stimulation, promote neurodegenerative and neural survival. The term was coined when comparing the brain and behavior of laboratory be rats housed in single cage to two houses in cages with toys, blunders, tunnels, racing wheels, and other rats. Taking about enriched environment, or EE, is about providing the best performance of the user's nervous systems, keeping it stimulated in the right proportion. Chaotic traffic environment in mega cities is great in rage. It's compounding of alerts, images, and lights that become disturbing for drivers, increasing stress, and consequently cortisol. A simple vegetable garden in our house is also capable of, of being rich in aromas, texture, sounds, flavors, and positive emotion balances. This proportion is the key. Speaking about the rush environment, it is provided about us the best performance of user nervous system, keeping it stimulated in the right proportional. Is about this and not that. Evidence and strategies for longevity. Neurons that fight together why together don't have. So let's start with more stimulation. More stimulation can be proven by active design. If it should favor more active routines based on healthy and more beneficial decision for our body and mind, promoting physical activities that will facilitate space configurations. Active design can be applied in common areas like highly visible, welcoming, companion design, design for flexibility within a short walk from the residences. Can be applied in a whole way, wide, well with a natural light and our daily light spectrum, artificial lighting, provide views on outdoors or common social spaces, have places to sit, design for walking clubs. Public stairs, centrally located, high visible, on open to public spaces, aesthetical pleasing, music and art artworking encourage the users. Environment graphics, communicated activities available to residents. Where possible, graphics should be integrated in the architecture and interior design elements that support the design behavior communicated. Challenge, activement, boards, promoting 
are teaching in changing and motivator activations. Play outdoor areas for dance sports and more active games. Indoor areas for individual and group games requiring special skills. Invite fun and spontaneous draw uncover national design. Access to resources. Wayfinding, landscaping opportunities to walk the road complex and engaging spaces, such as walking trials or garden mazes. Located in downtown Chicago, the Girl Sky Garden was built in the roof of the Children's Rosborough, provides encounter, movement, motivation, and resurrection for patients, communities, doctors, and administration for another day of treatments. Studies show that environment design can reinforce and behaviors of transform them. Thus, the design can encourage more active behaviors instead of reinforcing more sedentary behavior in, every, in everyday life. Walking 50 minutes a day, for example, optimize the functional of neural system involved with emotions, moods, sleep, and memory. It should be noted that people actively engage in activities such as frequent exercise and how household chores and daily visits from family and friends in head, respectively, between 21 and 50 less risk of dementia. Here, this explained because when we are moving stimuli in our body, we release the, the irisin, a component in our organism. Irisin promotes, promotes the release of neurotrophic such as BDNF, stimulating neurotrophicalism among other benefits. So physical activities, liver and muscle, irisin is like here, ultrapass the blood, brain barrier and increase the synapse capacity, hypocampal volume, hypocampal neurodegenerative, and it and, and increasing the BDNF hypocampus. By showing that irisin is an important mediator of beneficial effects of physical exercise in people with dementia, it appears that arising is capable of oppositing synapses, failures, and memory impairments of Alzheimer's dementia. Two, cognitive stimulations. Cognitive stimulation. Lifelong learning is essential. Autonomy to know and explore the world is fundamental for the, for the development of skills in addition to learning. Con the lack of autonomy rises stress level. Consequently, the lack of perception of control can affect longevity. Flexibility, multiply opportunity, and diversities of environment interaction. Ease of choose, access, and independence practice. Both in other mammals and humans, the feeling of control of being able to choose and, and do something alone is very important. Feeling good when baking a cake, having a cut of tea, Watering the plants with our own hands increase the chance of develop of our brain health. Sensory stimulation. Sensory stimulation using our sense is essential to keep our brain active. Lighting. Use a variety of lighting types and levels to help regulate circadian cycles and improve cognitive performance. Provide exposure to daylighting to benefit cognitive performance, learning, and attention. People prefer to sit in areas of sunlight or daily or daylight. Provide adjustment daytime and situation relevant source of direct artificial lighting and ambient artificial lighting. Lower lights level support mindful in conversations. 
Inadequate aggrieves age-related problems, including insomnia, depression, and cognitive performances. Innovation lies solutions for battery care facilities. The simple application of a signal lights at night promoted. Improved mode and behavior of the residents, quality in treatment, less burden in the nurses. In this study, it was concluded that light and appropriate architectural features in terms of color, signage, and furniture promoting the discovery of internal pathways in other homes in Thailand. In Thailand. Sounds provide adjustable and relevant levels of ambient sound, music, and background noise. Music improves physical states and performance during physical activities, increases pleasure, decreases sense of tar of, of tiredness. Sounds, according to the study, light scale cognitive models and light making brain circuits were shown to be associated with musician processing. Music is shown to be a promising element in memory rescue, brain development, and treatment of dementia. The simple implementation of a vegetable garden in the kitchen, for example, are capable of promoting olfactory, gustatory, visual, and sound stimuli, the nature stimulants. Therapeutic garden, windows with views of complex nature improve attention and cognitive performances, provide outdoor learning spaces to increase engagement and activity. Indoor plants improve attention and creative performances. Therapeutic garden, according to research by University of Exeter, stress, stress can be reduced by interaction with nature at least two hours a week. For this reason, stress can be dealt by, with by nature. Introducing therapeutic gardens will be a tool to relieve stress and a tiring day. Small scalars, therapeutic garden. Here we can see the window garden, desk garden, and we can see here the bring colors from flowers, white noises from animals, wind and leaves, the light sand helps to relax and touch of nature. Here the balcony garden and backyard garden. So, so therapeutic garden, we need less of this and more of that. The Snulizen therapy. Snulizen is a multisensory environment, environment that allows you to stimulate the classic senses such as touch, taste, sight, sound, smell, as well as the proprioceptive senses and the vestibular sense. Now, social stimulation. Social stimulation, creating environments that favor encounters between people, sociable touch, human contacts is vital for us human beings. This study, which nearly 2,000 other participants, after a nine years analysis showed that the other people from communities with enriched environments have higher cognitive levels and and slower decline spans of cognitive abilities that than other elderly people, proving that long-term ability as such environments to facilitate cognitive abilities. An increase in the simulation of the rich environments is needed to improve or slow down the, degener the degeneration of cognitive abilities. Larry Salin hates promotes specific elaboration and recall memory. Small living spaces should accommodate personal items, including favorite furniture, 
because they improve physical, physiological well-being, anchor memories, and support maintenance of meaningful social relationships with family, with family and close friends. Art space, the, the dedicated habits areas, music, music, quality, photographies, flexible spaces to support exposure to a variety of new art experiences or the active in programs. Furnishes and special arrangements should encourage social interaction and collaboration to improve learning and social connected. In the elderly, in the elderly, voluntary social connection leads to possible enlargement of the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus, higher concentry of BDNF, lower cortisol levels, according to the research. A space of refuge and priv of privacy are usefully and necessary. We need breaks and connection with our inner selves, personalized places that embody our culture, history, values, and legacy is extremely necessary. Here, we can see the next square, the North California, United States, the design promoting a movement and the increased metal, metal performance. And finally, the cognitive reserve. Cognitive reserve by being exposed to all these factories in a systemical and balanced way, we increase our cognitive reserve. Cognitive reserve is equal as resistance of the nervous system to brain damage over time. A right environment benefits us both today and in future. Cognitive reserve, even with neurodegenerative disease, a brain equipped with high cognitive reserve is able to resist for a longer time. Consequently, symptoms of dementia are prevent delaying of treatment according to the studies. So when here, uh, when we had our development, the activities, education, psychology, environments, biological improved our cognitive reserve. <laughs> to finally, the longevity and quality of life. Final considerations. As we have seen, the art of creating spaces becomes a key point in quality of life during aging, especially when it's pro progression of dementia. After that, after the diagnosis, the elderly continue to be a human being if wills and culture characteristics that define them. Soon they should be respected and treated well. And one more time, what can we do today in our built environments to improve our future? Culinary science and architecture be the key to longevity? So is this, Maria, thank you very much for this time to all the missions. Very pleasure, this is a reference. If anyone too can see after, I can disponibilize it. Thank you. Uh, um, Ciro, maybe uh, it's, uh, oh, you're finishing uh, the slides now. Then uh, when it's finished, maybe you can stop sharing your screen so we can see you in, um, in a bigger <laughs> bigger format. Oh, you have more information here. So if you have, if you would like the uh, contact. No, it's just my contact, my education specialization and my Instagram, if anyone should want to follow me. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> I, I am sure that there would be more, um, 
more questions uh, also perhaps later uh, people would be of course interested in contacting with you thank you so much for this very interesting and uh, comprehensive uh, presentation uh, i think it's a, i was thinking during the presentation already of a number of people with whom i will specifically send the link <laughs> so first my parents of course because they are aging and i i don't live near them i live in germany and they live in portugal so uh, I have a sister there and then they're still active and working and I know that they are they are looking after themselves well, but I think it's also good to send the, your presentation to them as a kind of a hint <laughs> of a few, <laughs> a few little movements. Uh, and I think it's, it's very uh, wonderful work, very valuable, the knowledge you have shared with us. Because exactly as you said in the beginning of your presentation, not just to deal with, with people that we know, that are, that, are, that are elderly, but also see, seeing the future elderly person in ourselves. Um, that uh, And also to understand that our daily decisions will also have an impact in our, in our future. So it's a very interesting way to, to understand also, you also mentioned this idea, could we be the sculptor of our own brain? So in, in the long run, uh, to understand that uh, so, some of these decisions can really have uh, an impact in the long run, the, the choices we do, of the places we live in, and so on. Um, so um, I wanted to, my first uh, question to you uh, would be, uh, because you work uh, in Brazil, and I, I remember yeah. a few years ago, I, I had also a conversation with a with another colleague who was working in Brazil, and she told me that statistically, uh, the Brazilian people is the one in the world with the highest stress levels. So do do you? Yeah, think yeah, it's true. Unfortunately, the yeah. traffic, the correct traffic, totally is tied to the our mentally health of brain. Mm -hmm. But this is also very interesting because exactly because of that context, you have also the knowledge and the experience to understand how can we work to uh, improve the situation and also because we are not able to build on, again new, completely new cities from, from scratch, so how can we adapt to the already existing structures in a way that is more sustainable. Um, so from your experience also with your practice, what would you say are the first steps to do, for example, if, if we know someone who, who lives in a flat in a busy situation and we know that the flat has a few perhaps problematic aspects and so on, uh, what, what would be the first recommendations you would give to, to make adaptations to this uh, situation? We have uh, we have to lead as the our culture, uh, our, our, as our culture accents. Like uh, if I if I like to someone element of nature, I can bring bring this element to our, my house. For example, this element that our culture can be stimulated in, like is the the example that that we show today. That, that we see today. And with this, our composition and breathing can be very, very relaxed to our brain. So it, its tips is very considering good to us because all of this experience, new experience, good experience are necessary in our lives. When we can improve them in a cor in a correctly ways, we can we can we can see a, a great future to us. The 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 principle the pre, the 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 principle is we can maintain keep calm keep calm and practice like a mindfulness is very good. Earthing just just touch in a plants we can see we can we can do this uh, extremely easy. So much many, so much many ways that we can improve, but we have to stop to analyze our lives, to analyze our our problems, ourselves, and after this, we can to be the changes. The changes can be planning first. Planning is all. After planning, we have to act, enact our only body 
uh, perceives that so it's so it's so nice to me. Let's continue so you can lead with good it is a good routine. When the habits is formed, it also really really benefits healthy habits, healthy life. So longevity can be can be achieved when this and the environment in the right environment, our architecture. Now, because we are project, we can we can do it. The same time as we can uh, a, a power environment, we can we, we can create a rich environment. So this is the idea. Uh, just uh, uh, just an element. Just uh, think about it. Just as I see progress to the mutants' future. Mm -hmm. Also, I I, uh, I find it very interesting because. We are talking here about enriched uh, environments, and this is not necessarily economical. It's uh, because we can have uh, examples of very luxurious um, uh, flats or houses and so on. And we see that actually from the point of view of neuroscience, they might be really co uh, cognitively um, impoverished environments that, that they lack complexity. They don't have, uh, they don't, uh, they might encourage movement, but maybe they are too big, for example. I found it very interesting that you specifically mentioned in your presentation uh, small spaces where people small, can. Small spaces, that is nullism, there's nullism treatment. There is small spaces that we can stimulate the, the sensorial system with, with simple things. A plant, a plant can be. Uh, when we bring a plan for our and our house, our bathroom, or if, if it's some point in a flat example, we can see a new a new type of aroma. We can see life for this for this place, like so. This we can see in also. And we not be to in, in not necessarily be real. Just the view of the jaw emerge in our in our in our brain, a relax, a calm. So if if I am a kayakic a karaoke trafficking, and I stay in my house, see, this is a very good to our brain health. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also what you mentioned, uh, places. Uh, uh, adapting the places where we live with things that over time are meaningful to us also memories of things we like or places we visit so not only necessarily to fulfill you know the fashion or the expectations or to try to impress the friends although these are also of course you know components of, of the things we do and they are also meaningful somehow but not just to try to connect to these objects as types of symbols but really as something which is meaningful and that also has the benefit of engaging with our emotions and with our uh, with our sense of, of self and, and of uh, belonging. Um, one of the aspects that I also, uh, also found very interesting that you mentioned in the uh, presentation was also this idea of movement to create, uh, to design spaces, not just at home, but also on the outside that encourage people to be active and to, to play. And we have just before the conversation, we had here the three final presentations of the exercise our students are working during the semester. And there were a lot of explorations with play in urban spaces and with the interior and with the exterior. And this is exactly the goal of the exercise as I always tell to our students, to give them the tools also to understand how over time to sculpt their own brain and to, to always see the built environment as rich in potential of exploration and of, of interaction. So thank you so much for bringing, bringing this up. Uh, also something I found very interesting in your presentation was that you mentioned the importance of housework, of doing housework, uh, the chores, the, 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 you know, the keeping the place clean and organized, the, uh, you know, vacuuming, the tasks of the everyday, and, and sometimes we don't like to do these things. You think, oh, I would rather do something else. <laughs> I, I do most of the housework uh, right where I live. I live there with my husband. And in, um, in a few weeks, we will also have two cats, small cats. So we will have to adapt to this new situation. <laughs> and um, 
I, I'm thinking, I have I have a few things. I'm very excited about the prospect of the two cats, but I'm already thinking there's going to be so much hair to vacuum much more frequently and so on. But but there are also the psychological and emotional benefits of having pets pets at home. So maybe- Pets the- oh, are so nice, but the problem is, is uh the the some the some type of elderly has a olfactory problem so the 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 hair of the cats like for example the dogs um, can be improved allergic system so treating like uh uh, uh we we had a technology that that we that 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 was paro there's a uh, a part of toys is a toy that that the vibrant in our brain that that he that that he can avoid us. So when promove and relax, like like a a, vi- a vibrant toy that has stimulating as we touch him, is very is very good to to use it in a in a dementia treatment. Mm-hmm. So is 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 a Japanese technology, but it's also used in ma- in in many countries, not just. It's 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 very uh, it's very interesting because I I demonstrated today a uh, projects in a in a in a orange part in a in Asian Asian part of the is of this world in all the in all of the projects. We can see that everything functional, and but it's not the uh, a recipe that is a bathroom. Each each culture comports as a way to improve this this these places, and is is the more is the more important. If 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 you can to to have a pet, if 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 you are lonely, if you cannot any allergics like me, for example, uh, for example, you can, uh, of course, né, adopt a dog, adopt a cat, adopt a, a bird, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, it depends on the time that I, that I can spend to lead to care of this animal, of course, because he's, he, he, he uh, is alive that you can bring it to your house. Yeah, yes. but any but but other elements can simulate our rec- our recordation, evocate our memories, like a uh, a uh, uh, music. A uh, music is uh, also treatment. Is a uh, is is a uh, is a no expensive and can be like already here. We 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 can pick up our our cell phones and put a music and record in some uh, in, in some moment that we can watch child when, when we are born, when we are good moments, bad moments. So the mu- the music the music uh, has uh, extremely power to activate it. many many areas of our brain, like in the house of, of your parents, your sister can 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 promoting uh, music that 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 they they like when when he are when he are young. So this is evoking memory that is so benefits. My my grandmother uh, loves when when he were when he were alive to sing and 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 sound your preferred musics, and he loved it. So this is maintaining your your cognitive reserve acts and they and he resists the 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 and she resists until the end with a cognitive impeccable wonderful <laughs> well my, my i know that my my parents are always listening to music and and i learned to love music because we were always <laughs> so surrounded surrounded by music but at the same time we also like you mentioned in the presentation we also need moments of quiet we need moments of privacy quiet, of course uh, uh, moments of quiet and also for for uh, reflection so i i really found your presentation wonderful exactly because it covers a very comprehensively all these different these different uh, elements um so I, I will ask you now the question which actually normally i always ask 
at the very beginning of the presentations, but for some reason today I, I'm doing it, maybe because it's the last one, I'm doing it the other way around. <laughs> Who knows? It's always good to do something different also to keep things moving. Uh, so what was what triggered the spark for you to get interested in this uh, in this topic? Because I see that you are very um, profoundly uh, engaged and you have a lot of um, knowledge on it. Well, how did this sensitivity for the topic appear? So uh, I my life is immersion for elder person. Despite I was born, I live in and and until live with elder in person. All that my neighborhood is coordinated for uh, for an elderly person. So my work is functional like uh, with elder person and the and the process of aging is uh, that I really love because he 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 happens in a different way each people has a each history and each history is a magnificent when i stop to talking with uh with, with an elderly in the street for example i can uh, i can discover a new life a new history new cultures new creations so it's very it's very love it's very charming for me so uh so when 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 i observe my my uncle my mother my mother uh aging aging i i saw that that the that, that my house has not preparing to 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 pair to to, to accommodate them, to... To accommodate your, uh, his necessities. So I think, so the architecture can be, uh, if the architecture, if my job can be, uh, so invited, the, the, they provide a good, pro promoting a good exercise and promote a good stimulus, support your necessities as you can, so this is this burden me because anyone here in Brazil talks to about this. Architecture is even just a visual stimulus, just this. Sounds, our rooms, the sense, the sensory design, the active design, we cannot encounter here, unfortunately. So with all of this, of all of this, the this, this neuroscience, the gerontology, the geriatrics that treat about the dementia disease. So when I when I uh, when when I put all these issues in the just a point, I can see. So this is the key of our longevity. The treatment of dementia can be also a. Uh, can, can, can uh, the dementia can be treated with this, with the architecture, architecture in the same time as as promoters stresses, depression, depression and other problems. The architecture can improve our lives, and 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 in the same time that I was has the longevity of my mother, of my uncle. I want to my longevity too. And if anyone architects here in Brazil are talking about this, I I started to talking about this because of I I was so and and and, and uh, here the 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 main retro, uh, topics is is children. Children, you can see very very. The extremely extraordinary project uh, to to improve the, the 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 childhood, but all but the elderly not anyone have project here to improve the health the healthy aging. So I pick up this this the the this topic that is present in my life to be my love to be my ikigai to be my purpose of life. No, and that's that's uh, really wonderful, and also to see how how passionate uh, and how connected uh, you are to it. Uh, here in Germany, I always find uh, really beautiful and moving that most people are very connected to their uh, to their grandparents. Um, the the family ties are very strong in Germany, and I think that this also 
might have been something that had to do with all the losses with with the war and so on. So the family is also is really something that is very very important, and also the care uh, the care for the elderly. And something I noticed um, from observation is that the elderly people who are present and active in the life of their grandchildren that they also age better. Uh, when they they help uh, the family, for example, if both parents work and the grandma helps, uh, you know, preparing the meals or every now and then on the weekend, uh, you know, doing things and so on. Uh, these these are things that maybe sometimes we might take for granted and not really in the see uh, give the right value to the mutual benefit. It's that uh, that happened through this. Uh, I, I experienced such a situation. I was very close to my grandparents from from my mother's side. They, they were with us almost every day. And I remember as a as a teenager, sometimes I was a little too impatient with them. And now the the older I get, mm -hmm. the more I understand how how important they were. In so so many ways. Also the rhythm of older people. You know the fact that many of the not generalizing, but when older people get wiser and they can listen more more deeply and and be more patient with many things because they already had so many experiences. Of and course, of course, experience is all. So is is a is a good point that 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 is a good point to 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 bring up us because uh, the experience the experience that 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 the oldest person has we can we 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 can we can just talk and and learning some of life uh, we we can le le learn new now the lifelong learning of me and he in my house is very funny because my 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 mother has 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 60 my uncle ha, ha, has 80 and i had and, and i has 25 so is a uh, integrate of many generation and living in our just our one house so it's very very good because we can of course we so, uh, in, in sometimes we have some conflicts but we love each other and we respect we respect us as we as we as our difference so so something that uh that that my that my mother uh, a term that, that is uh in the time of of of, of her I I I I, I as I what is this mother what what is I'm talking about no I, because is my is in in my in my generation in the past this letter is the other letter I think oh I, I'm good I'm so glad so is a is a process that anyone that ever gain when we can confine to intergener intergenerational lifestyle so it's very good. I'm always Can you understand me. Yes, perfectly. Perfectly. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just had nervous here today. Uh, I'm always <laughs> very example with my German uh, mother in law, who is like the, the matriarch of my German family. And uh, uh, it was not always harmonious, and it still isn't. <laughs> but but I'm always impressed with uh, with how she uh, she has her ways and very dominant and so. But she always tries to be as welcoming as possible to to everyone, and it's so generous in that way. And also preparing the food for everyone, and what you like, what you don't like. And oh, now the grandchildren they only want to eat vegan food, and they don't like this, and so on and so on. But for her, and she's she's over eighty, and she's still such a vital person because she has also. She wants to adapt to all the different changes, uh, meets the friends every day, reads the newspaper every day, watches uh, documentaries and many things. And she isn't particularly sportive and loves to have her sweets and all of these things. But she's a very vital person also because of this engagement with the different generations and asking around the village what everybody's doing, how people bringing them something if something some someone is in trouble or so but that keeps her uh, in very in very good shape so it's also uh in, inspiring inspiring to see uh so now here in the classroom i wanted to ask if 
Any of you would like to make a question? We are here in the classroom, uh, a little bit quiet. We had presentations before, so maybe. Please, no, no, no. One question. <laughs> we have here we have here a meeting owl, which is a kind of a robot that that gives this panorama. So I don't know if you can see a few heads there <laughs> back in the room, but now we we will have one question here. Hi. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask, like, besides uh, life in the house, uh, what changes can be made, um, like, more in a city context, like, outside for, for people with dementia? Like, I can imagine that, that color is something that can um, help to have to ubicate in the city. But was, um, I, I'm, like, interested what else can be points that can help the orientation. Can you repeat uh, the question? With orientation. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. How can, how can we improve in the urban design context? How can we improve uh, orientation or wayfinding? Wayfinding, so we can implement uh, seats, we can implement the, the culture elements that she can, that, that she can, um, that she can understand. In like uh like a visual and and no and no verbal alerts can be orientated mountains the affordance like a, a kitchen with appearances that with with, with a, a appearance of a kitchen a bathroom with appearance of the bathroom all of this of these things can bring it can 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 bring some orientational. We can we 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 can stimulate the aromas in the kitchen. We put aroma of manjerican of can aromas of of some flavor. And in the your bathroom, we can we can applicate the lavendula aroma to can relax him and to sleep very well. So it's many ways. The key. As as I told before, is 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 working with her future with with what we can we can recog, 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 recognize it good. So I think is this, but is a uh, is a uh, really very many many signs and elements that we can improve that so uh, the complex is not the ideal the. It's very important you you begin with, 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 with a little elements and improving as a capable as you can you see the, this per, the, the the evolution in person in our own house. Can you understand me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a following question? No, no. Um, I think that like transported that to the more to, to like the urban space outside like the i'm like curious i think traffic is a big problem for example for people with is that you is that urbanism problem so it's a problem that i unfortunately i i can't change mm -hmm. but we but the 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 community can provide some changes like paintings like a ramps loud all of these elements if the if it's possible of course in implement in urbanism can be improved the the active design the 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 cop the 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 the, the, the corporal architecture that the maria so the so work too because it stimulates an involvement body in the places in the environment in the environment beauty unfortunately uh the human the the human infrastructure has not depended of me for example but if we are uh, community to promote in some events to do this to transforming to make a performance on the streets this can this, this this can be show that that the capacity of these places should be more engagement acting running dancing so many other activities mm -hmm. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Siru. I also find it very, uh, very interesting that you mentioned all these different activities and also for different um, body capacities, because we, do, we are not all sportive, we, we have different relationships to our bodies and our abilities also shift over time that might, uh, maybe we were a very shy child and we became more adventurous when we were older and then Maybe we become maybe we become also a little bit less, uh, you know, and and also over time with with age, it's also somehow normal not to be able to do too many things because the body um, acquires more limitations. But I I have seen people over seventy doing things in yoga class that would make many young people <laughs> very surprised. So so they can also be very fit and very vital, uh, many different levels of. Um, yeah, everyone is different. Uh, so here in the classroom, is there any other question? No? Uh, I see that Milton is in the audience. He was a little bit late. I don't know if he would like to make a comment because I know that Milton is also uh, interested in this topic and he has been regularly, he, Milton was present, I think in almost all of the conversations of the five cycles. And it's always wonderful to have you here, Milton. What a wonderful contribution. What a wonderful pleasure. And uh, I'm sorry I wasn't on earlier, but uh, my multi-generational household, including my daughter and my granddaughter, uh, required my attention. So I'm sorry I was busy being multi-generational. Now, I, don't, I didn't listen long enough to have a, an intelligent question. I just want to tell you, thank you for being part of the series. I've enjoyed the whole thing, every, every single presentation. Just, so. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I, I only I can only say that the, the pleasure and the benefits are definitely mutual because Milton, you have been always bringing so much valuable input, sharing your experience with us, and also uh, Milton is a great living example of of uh, uh, longevity, age, longevity, mm -hmm. and exactly remaining uh, active and living a pur purposeful and meaningful life. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Siru. Yeah. We we will finish for now. Milton, you wanted to say any, something. I interrupted you. Sorry. No. Okay. I thought I was being too too fast. Okay. <laughs> so we will finish for now. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Siru, for for sharing your time and your knowledge with us. I I cannot imagine a better way to finish the fifth cycle of of conversations. And uh, there will be a sixth. I already am working on a lineup, so I never know when this is going to end. It's, it, it has become an open-ended process. So thank you so much for your contribution and for sharing your time and your knowledge with us. <laughs> and thank you also here in the classroom for your attention and focus. Okay, so take care. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Maria. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye.